Hello and welcome to a mini-sode from the Knit Sip Happy Channel. My name is Nancy and I'm here to chat with you today about a couple of things that I couldn't squeeze into episode 25. So um, we're going to be, it's going to be a little different today. Um, I have zero, zero wine zero wine in my hands. I'm heading off to knit night in the next hour or so to meet up with some nitty friends and hang out and eat pizza and have a glass of wine and chit chat. But I was here last and said that I was going to show you a, a DIY advent calendar. Um, so I've dug through my stash, through all my minis that I've done with swaps with friends that I've purchased, mostly swaps with friends, I think and um, show you how I'm going to do this. So, um, and I'm also going to talk to you about Christmas knitting plans. Um, I dug through all of my gift pile and um, I'm going to talk a little bit about that as well. So I'll put timestamps in for the usual, um, but it's primarily gonna be those two topics unless I go off on a real tangent. I can't really see I'm wearing my Rebel Rebel cardigan today by uh, Truly Myrtle, Libby Johnson. I'll put a picture in up here. We're also in a different position than we usually are. I'm sitting on the floor in front of my stash shelf. So the light's a little different coming in from the side of me instead of in front of me. But um, I thought with sitting on the floor, you're better to have the view of my stash than the bottom of my desk. So advent calendars. Um, I didn't buy any this year. Um, I have a lot of minis. I don't do a lot of mini projects per se, other than blankets. I'm going to try a garment. Last year I got, oh, I wasn't prepared to go off on this tangent. Sorry. This is my mini, my advent calendar from last year that I got. So Christmas 2022. I got the advent from Comfy Cozy Knits here in Canada. So um, I have 24, 25, I can't remember, 20 gram, 25 gram minis. So my plan is to do the simple stripes sweater. I put a picture of that up on episode 25 to show you as well. Um, I think I'm going to try, I'm going to get an undyed um, or cream yarn to break up the stripes to make it perhaps a little less crazy and I'm going to have to do some kind of color planning because I don't think I could take it just random. And there has to be planning for sleeves and stuff. So I'm planning on knitting that in December, but I'm still going to want something to open because FOMO is real, seeing everybody opening up their advent calendars on uh, Vlogmas or in... Uh, on Instagram. So what I did when I was opening up the calendar from Amanda last year um, from Comfy Cozy Knits, I saved the box that it came in. And in this box, if I can break into it, are all of the little numbered boxes. So I'm going to build my own advent calendar with these. And I thought I would take you along on the ride, but then I dragged out this bag of minis from swaps and whatnot and thought, wow, that looks like I might have enough to do too. So in 2020, I did a fiber spinning advent from Bad Habit Wilco and hers came also in a box but with these little numbered bags, which I also saved. So I'm gonna see if I can get two advent calendars out of this. So I'm going to change the camera angle um, so you can see what I'm doing. Um, I may have to get the scales out and do some weighing and measuring and um, balling up, but most of, them, most of them look like they're ready to go. So I'm gonna change my setup and show you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do the boxes first, and if I have enough that I think I can do another 24 or 25, I will do the little bags. So I don't know, I've never done anything like this before, so as far as angle and talking to you, whether it's gonna be sped up or music, I have no idea. Come along on the ride with me. So 
so there's going to be rustling. These are turtle pearl, turtle pearl striping minis, and I don't think I want to use those. So I'm going to put those aside for another day. These are Your Indulgences 25 gram minis. I'm going to put those aside. I may not. I think I'm planning on, I think these are mostly 10 grams. So I'm just going to put this aside as well. These are ones that I made up for swaps and ended up not giving away. So they may go in because they're already measured, but they may not. This was one that I got years ago from Grocery Girls. I want to give away and it's from Evil Little Goat, who I don't believe dies anymore. So I'm assuming these are 10 gram minis. I didn't actually weigh them, to be perfectly honest. Ooh, they feel like five. They feel like five gram. Should have got my scale. Hang on and I'll grab it. Just changed the camera angle and turned the lights on. So I didn't grab my micro scale. I just grabbed my kitchen scale and I'm getting different numbers off of this. No, well, maybe they are 10. I was convinced they were five. Well, looks like they are nine. 10. Okay. They're so fun. That one says only eight. I'm going to put this one aside. I'm going to have to get my micro scales. Okay. But little bags like this, I know are 10 grams because we did a series of swaps um, with my groups of friends around the province. And I know these are 10 grams. So I'm just going to start grabbing boxes and putting in little balls. And by the time December comes, I will have forgotten what all of these are. <laughs> so I'm just going to keep doing this. I'm going to stop talking and I'm going to probably speed you up. So I'm just grab my little micro scale that I got off of Amazon. Just uh, great to weigh when you're looking at rows and it's more precise than a kitchen scale. So I just weighed these Eva Little Goat minis and they look like they're between eight and nine grams, which is kind of odd, but I'm going to go ahead and put them in the little bags. So I'm not doing a terribly precise job with these. Um, as far as the minis size wise, I'm looking for around 10 grams. I'm going to use them in blanket projects. And we'll talk about that in a little bit.
haven't taken anything out of my stash, but fundamentally I've made two advent calendars. One was just kind of a mix and match of things. And this one is all from friend swaps that I've done. So these are going to be blanket projects or a going into a blanket project. Um, I'm feeling like I'd like to do um, like a floral granny motif with a neutral. I'm going to get some undyed or cream yarn and uh, I'll put a couple pictures up of some ideas that I have because of course I didn't do any research before I came and talked to you. That would make too much sense. Um, so these yarns will be out of my stash soon because they're going to go into a blanket project. Um, so this is what I'm going to be doing for Advent. I'll have one to open for each day in December and by December 1st I will have forgotten of course what I'm going to, what, what I just put in all of those bags and boxes. So it'll be a fun surprise. Memories with friends. We started doing these get-togethers um, of New Brunswick knitters in 2020 during COVID. We were meeting outside and um, we're doing mini swaps and yeah. So memories attached to that, um, but I'd like to do a different kind of blanket this year. So uh, I'm just going to take a second and grab my Christmas knitting thoughts and I'll be back to talk to you about that. So Christmas knitting. When I was here talking to you on episode 25, I was concerned about uh, my progress on Christmas socks. So I went into my cubby of gift knits and... Um, this is just the socks <laughs> that I have done. So most of these have owners. I went through my list and I think I have three pairs, two pairs I need to make, three to four total that I could make. Um, I also have lots of cowls and simple things, scarves and, you know, for emergency gifts, I think I want to do some more coastal drift mittens because they were such a fast, a fun knit. Um, but I'm, I'm pretty good in socks. So I'm going to show you a couple of things I am going to do and a fun way to package your Christmas socks to gift them to friends. Okay, so this is where I'm at for Christmas knitting. I'm in much better shape than I thought I was. I'm really glad I've done this and pulled out all of my Christmas stash, my gift knits that I've done throughout the year, because I really only would like to knit. I really only have to knit three things, but I would like to do four that are gifts. So the first one is this is an option. Um, I have a gentleman who works for me and has for over 16 years and his favorite thing is his hand knit socks and a bucket of beer at Christmas. <laughs> so uh, the only decision at this point is am I using this and just putting heels, toes and cuffs in? This is a tube that was cranked for me, for me by my friend Leanne or am I going to go with the more assembly required option and hand knit him a pair? He is very knit worthy and I feel like I would almost prefer to hand knit him a pair. So that's the way I'm leaning right now. This versus this. So that's staying in the pile. Then I pulled two deep stash yarn indulgences. This is um, Deborah's old DK base um, from my stash. And I think I'm going to make gift coastal drift mittens out of this. Um, I don't want to do the mohair option. I just want to do straight straight yarn. Um, so I'm going with DK and this will be for two gifts for this side of the pond, Canadians. We'll see how I do for time and how I feel about sending any over to uh, England for family members in the fingerless variety. But these will be coastal drift mittens. And the last thing again is more deep yarn indulgences stash. This is an old uh, merino nylon yak base. Um, and I'm going to knit a pair of man socks, shorties, out of these. Um, I'm not going to, yeah. So these, this yarn is lovely to knit with and this will be a pleasure to knit and they're shorties, even if they're a very large foot. So the other thing I had mentioned is how to gift your hand knit socks. This is my favorite way to do it. So I go to the dollar store um, or discount store and these come flat packed in packages of fours or sixes and they're little takeout style boxes that you can just fold the flaps in on. 
So this is a pair of Swiss dot shorties or Swiss dot not so shorties that are being gifted to a very knit worthy friend. Um, she works from home and wears my hand knit socks every day. So she gets a fresh pair every Christmas. So this, I just fold the socks into thirds, tuck it into the box, sometimes with a little treat in there, sometimes not, depending on what's around the house. Tuck these little tabs in and it's a really cute, easy way to gift your socks. So I hope that's helpful. So thank you for being here for this mini sewed and I hope you've enjoyed seeing my advent uh, DIY advent calendar. It's a great thing if you've got friends, we've all got scraps and leftovers, just have to kind of get organized and decide what weight you want to do. So we tend to do 10 gram minis. And as you see, um, some people are making little skeins, some people did balls. I do them on the little card so I can write on there if I remember. <laughs> um, but it's a great way to get your scraps that you've already worked with out of your stash and bring in new scraps um, of yarns that you uh, didn't have and it's fun to work with them in different projects, be it scrappy socks or shawls or cowls or the favorite blankets. The other thing was the Christmas knitting. Um, I feel much better Thank you for making, for me, past me for committing to doing this and getting all my Christmas knitting out um, and gift knitting and seeing what I had and what I needed to do. I feel a lot better now. So I may be casting on another sweater because I feel I got lots of time now. I only have a few things to do. <laughs> so I am going to say goodbye uh, without the wine, but I'm still going to say happy knitting, happy sipping, and I will see you very soon. Cheers.